good evening everyone welcome to short class in this session we are going to see about a simple tcs mqt problem simple tcs mqt problem first of all let us see what we are going to do what we are going to do in this particular module so we are going to take a previous year tcs mqt question and we are going to solve it in conceptual overview method as well as coding box we are going to so we are going to see how to solve the problem conceptually and we are going to write the code for it we are going to write the code for it so let me uh, give you a quick glance of what is the syllabus for uh, what is the pattern for tcs mqt ninja okay so first we got english quants and programming logic and coding section in this module we are going to particularly concentrate on this coding part alone in this coding part alone in this coding part we will be given a problem statement and we'll have a time limit of 30 minutes to solve it we'll have a time minutes of time limit of 30 minutes to solve it so you can solve the coding problem in c c++ java python and perl so you can solve the coding part in five different languages so so there let me give you the problem statement have a look at it and i will give you the conceptual overview of the problem next okay so this is the problem statement and this is our input and this is our output so pause the video and have a look at it if you need i'll just continue solving the problem so for every input it needs to go to goes through a process and give us the output okay so for 1a it needs to go through a conversion and then it gives the output as 27 okay and then 23 gf also goes through some kind of conversion some kind of conversion and gives me and gives me 10980 10980 so it is a simple base 7 into decimal conversion decimal conversion then we will have so let me explain you a base 2 which is also known as binary binary to decimal conversion in order to explain this base 17 into decimal conversion okay so we we'll have base 2 to decimal conversion then what will i have then i'll have something like so let me take a binary number a binary number is 1100 i need to convert it into a decimal number decimal number so what will i do i will start from the unit digit i will start from the unit digit 0 into 0 into 2 power 0 0 into 2 power 0 plus so the next digit is 0 so 0 into 2 power 1 then i then i'll have 1 so it's 2 power 2 then i'll have again 1 1 power 1 into 2 power 3 so as you can see as we move from the unit digit to the succeeding digits the power of the base increases by 1 here we have 0 here we have 1 here we have 2 and here we have 3 correct so if we solve this thing we will get 8 plus 4 8 plus 4 so the equivalent value is 12 so i'm going to apply the exact same thing to these two inputs and show you the concepts okay so base so it's base 17 okay base 17 so what are the numbers in it first i will just tell the numbers so it's 0 to 9 and for 10 we will have a so if it's a it means 10 so then b it's 11 likewise till g it gives me 16 so there are 0 to 
so it has 17 values correct it has 0 to 16 means 17 values okay 17 values so it's a base 17 system so it's a base 17 system so i will go for a 1a so 1a means i will just split it up like i split here so 1 plus a i will come from the unit digit i will come from the unit digit so it's 17 power 0 and here we will have And here we'll have 17 power 1 17 power 1 which gives me so first of all we need to know what to substitute instead of a we need to substitute 10 instead of a so 1 into 17 power 1 gives me 17 plus 10 into 17 power 0 which is 1 17 power 0 is 1 so we'll get 10 we'll get so it's 27 so likewise for the next example likewise for the next example 23 gf so then we got 2 plus 3 plus g plus f so so i'm gonna apply the same process here i'm gonna apply the same process here so sounding power zero for the unit digit 17 power 1 for the next digit 17 power 2 for the next one and 17 power 3 for the third one 17 power 3 for the third one so if I solve it what will I get what will I get for the first value I will get 9 8 2 6 and then plus 8 6 7 plus 2 72 plus 15 plus 15 so for f i need to substitute 15 for g i need to substitute 16 so other values we can substitute as it is okay so then what will we get so if you add these number we will get 10980 so it's a very simple input and output logic so let us dive into solving this problem walkthrough We'll just see the coding of through of this problem. Okay, so first I'll just take the input. So here, so as you can see in the prompt, as we can see in the problem statement, we have only maximum of four digits, maximum of four digits. So I'm gonna take it as str five, str five. So this is my declaration part declaration part so then I need to get the input from the user so I'm using xtr okay then I need to know the length of the string so how many digits I need to know right so I'm using a inbuilt function called str of length which gives me the which gives me the length of the string length of the string then then I need to traverse from the last I need a traverse from the last so I will show like so length and here I will give you so length here I will just show, print and show you some simple things this is the index of Here you can get the index of the same. So one a. So I'll just put a new line character here. It will be very much easy for you to see. So twenty three g f. So f is in the third index. G is in the second index. Three is in the first index. Two is in the zeroth index. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna traverse it, it traverse it traverse the string from the back traverse the string from the back like I did here like I did here I'm gonna traverse it from the back so what will I get here what will I get here so first f str of i 
So let me check whether it is a number or not. So I will store the number in a way called temp. Okay. So if str of i is less than or equal to 0 ampersand amps equal to then here I will have temp equal to temp equal to str of i str of i minus 0 minus 0 so this is known as character character to as uh, character to integer conversion it is known as character to integer conversion we are getting the string as a we are getting the string as a character correct we are getting the string as a character here i have converted the string here i have converted the character into an integer so if it's not a number then it's a then it's a value correct then it then it's a alphabet it can be from a to g so i'll just get it like temp equal to temp equal to str of i Share of i minus 55. So ASCII value of ASCII value of a is a is 65. A is 65. Then then we need for the value of for the value of a as 10, we need to subtract it by 10. Correct. So we need to subtract it by 10. So ASCII value of a is so let me write it here. So you can see ASCII value of capital A is 65. 65. Okay. So what will be the actual value of what will be the actual value we need for A? We need for A is 10. So if I minus 65 minus 55. So it's actually how how should I get 10? 65 minus 55, I'll get 10. 65 minus 55, I'll get 10. Okay, 65 minus 55, I'll get 10. So then what else I can what else I can do? So I'm just storing the value in. I'm just storing the value in 10. Then what I need to do? Then what I need to do? So I'll put a simple call the result. So I'll print the result here. So I'll store the values in the result. Okay. So result equal to result plus result plus. So so here I will have seventeen power zero. Seventeen power zero. So I need I need to have a function for power. So power is a inbuilt function in C, which you can use to find the power of a number power of a given number so if i give 17 comma 17 comma 0 it will give me the value of it will give me the value of 17 power 0 so so the syntax of power is syntax of power is power base comma power so the first you need to give the base then you need to give the power value but in order to use this i need to you i need to include a header file called math.h math.h okay so then it's not enough i need to give i need to give multiply it with the temporary value temporary value and i need to initialize this result equal to zero in order to remove the garbage value in order to remove the junk value or garbage value okay so here i will print the result percentage g comma result and check the problem whether it works or not then if we have any problem then i uh, will try to uh, troubleshoot it okay so there's a problem error here what's the error here so i haven't declared i so it's actually len okay it's not i it's len So, uh, the, 
so we we don't need to give zero here so i'll have here counter in so no power power equal to zero for the unit value the power equal to zero so here i'll give power for the next value it needs to increase by one it needs to be increased by one correct so let me check it now and troubleshoot it if you have any uh, so i have missed a colon here okay so one capital a i got 27 so let me check for the other value so 23 gf oh okay we got the value so if you have any doubts please post it in the comment section uh, like the video subscribe for short clubs thank you